Hey everyone, it's time for more uh, WordPress theme tutorial uh, here on YouTube by uh, Andrew Animation. Um, in this video, we're going to actually talk about getting content into the main window here. I know that's one of the things that we could really use as part of a blog is the posts themselves. Now, uh, the file we're going to do this in is our index.php file, which is in our tutorial folder. So I already have that loaded into Notepad++. So I'm just going to, in this video, drop some code in from a file that I've already done for this theme. Just And then I'm going to explain everything I did there. So just bear with me for one moment. And we're just going to copy all of this into here. Now, I'll show you the results first of what uh, this will accomplish. And this will show all of the... Uh, this will show all of the posts on our page here. But obviously, if I just give you a bunch of code, you're not going to know what it does. So let's go over it right now. Okay. Now, if you remember, we left a few things open with the header um, in terms of the actual content uh, divider. So we have one there and one there. That was done by Daxter Speed himself. I'm not sure how he exactly has the CSS set up, but apparently is a div named padding inside a div named content and inside that div is where we put all of our post text. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this is the first actual PHP function aside from the get header and get sidebar functions. This is if we have posts. Now this is an if statement. I don't remember if I've talked about those in my PHP tutorial videos, but basically it says if and then anything within these two parentheses and in this case that is a function called have posts so basically, it'll call this function called have posts, which is part of the WordPress core. If that says yes, we do have posts, then it will do everything from here, noted by that colon, down to where we have an else. And that basically says if there aren't any posts, then you get this message, which is just uh, you're looking for something that's not here. That's just copied from Kubrick. And then after that, we have an end if. So that ends both the else and the if statement to begin with. And so that's wrapping around this entire thing. But here is the mo here's the most important part, and this has the most uh, PHP functions in it. Uh, well, actually, I have uh, one more thing. Uh, that was an if statement. This next one is a while statement. Now, the difference between an if and a while statement is that an if statement will, if it's true, it will return true, but then it'll stop. So no matter how many posts we have, if we have one post or a million posts, that will return true once and it'll only execute the code within it once. In a while loop, however, it will execute the code until there is no more code to work with. So well, so while means that if we have one post, it'll execute it once. If we have a million posts, it'll execute it a million times. Um, hopefully, uh, the pagination in WordPress will make it so that we don't have to worry about having a, a million posts on one page. Um, so start off with this function called the post, which basically tells WordPress to get ready to display post content. So let's take a look at this. This is hap this comes through for every post that we have on our page. It starts off with a div, and then we have a, that div calls a function that says PHP post class. Now uh, it's hard to sh and same thing for its ID. Now I know it's hard to show um, what that does, so I'm just going to load up the source code for this page. And you can see right here, this, this is the same line. So I'm just going to copy that into uh, Notepad++ so you can see some comparison. Okay, so we have div. This will automatically echo out the class, which gives it a class name of post and its ID, a uh, class of post, a class of each entry, which I don't know what that is, and a class of ca of its category, um, which in this case is plugin news based on the sample uh, that I gave you, and the ID of post number 27. So that's what that line creates. Now this next line uh, puts in an h2 tag. Within that h2 we have a link, ahref, and that calls a function right here called php the permalink. And actually there's no uh, semicolon after this. Um, so this calls PHP the permalink, and that is basically a link to the post that is not just on the main page. And that will give something, if you right-click on it, it'll be the path 
to the post. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the single post page, which I'm sure you're aware of if you've worked with WordPress. Uh, link rel, link title. Um, it'll say link to. Then PHP, the title attribute. That is a function that basically... I think it just uh, gives the name of the post, uh, but it makes it so that it'll work in a title tag, so it'll strip out quotes. Now we have a function you could probably figure out on your own, PHP the title. That just calls the actual function of the post, it calls it to be echoed out, such as welcome to AMP WordPress plugins. Now then we have an end A and an end H2. And so that is one completed line. I don't think I need to show you the source code, uh, what gets outputted by that. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, next line, now obviously when you're making your own theme, you're going to want to style this a bit more. I just put this on separate lines so that we have posted at, posted by categories. Um, down here we have a number of tags and uh, no comments. On your own site, you'll probably want to style that just more. I just had it echo out on different lines just for the sake of simplicity just to make it um, easier to read in the source code. So we have posted at, now we have a function, now this function is actually different. This C, instead of just having an open closed parentheses like all our other functions have, this has stuff within the parentheses. Now, the letters within the parentheses, that's just um, date formatting and you can actually look that up on the PHP, uh, PHP manual which is on php.net. Um, I just l recommend leaving it like that. That will produce um, October 10th, 2009. And I think you should leave it like that. You can explore the other letters, but notice how it's put within single quotes. Um, double quotes would work as well, but it's within the parentheses. And basically, these arguments, as they're called, within the parentheses, give the function extra information so that you don't have to make a separate function for every possible combination of the date, or the time in this case. Um, a BR tag. Now we've posted by the author, and that's just another simple PHP function that uh, calls the name of the author. And then break. Now PHP the tags. Here's another one with arguments, although this one has multiple arguments. And I'm just going to retype this line so that you can uh, look at it as I'm typing it. So if PHP the tags, open uh, parentheses. Now a lot of these functions that have additional arguments you have to look them up on the WordPress codex, which I showed you at the beginning of this series. That's codex.wordpress.org. And you can look at all the documentation they have there. So the first argument for this function is what you want to have before the tags. Now, you technically you don't have to have any of these. However, if you don't have any tags on a post, this way it'll just not show up, as opposed to having it outside the post and then having tags, colon, and then just a blank space. So I think that's really useful. So this first argument is what comes before the list of tags. This next argument, I notice multiple arguments are, list, are each put within their own set of quotes with a comma and a space. You actually don't have to have the space, I prefer it. This next second argument is what will separate each tag in the list. Now you can have a comma, a dash, a dot. Just be aware though, if you have a comma, that will make it a little confusing to read in your source code. So I'm just going to use a dash with a space dash space really. So then we have a comma and then this last argument, there are only three. Actually there might be more but uh, I'm not aware of them. This last argument is one comes after the tag list. So if we have that in there, if, if there are no tags then it will just not echo out a break tag which is useful. Uh, this last one is PHP the category and that the, has one argument and that's how the categories are separated every post will have one category at least so you don't need to worry about uh, having a before and after argument uh, here's another function comments pop up link and the three arguments here are uh, what the different text that shows up you can have no comments show up and uh, and number 137 uh, that is this little symbol here the European quotes that's the first argument. Second argument is if you have one comment, just because comment, comment, singular, plural. And the last one is percent comments, where that percent is replaced by the number of comments. So if you have two comments, it'll say two comments and then the European quotes. Then we have break tag. Now this last function is edit posts link, and that will only be seen by administrators or authors, people that have permission to edit the post. And again, this is formatted so that 
if you are an administrator, uh, you, you can put bef uh, formatting before and after. That's the second and third argument. And you can use that formatting to make it look, make your page look better so that it doesn't completely break when an admin views it. And of course, the first argument is just what it says. So if you want to have edit this post or just edit, you can put that in. Uh, we only have time to go through this last function is the content. And that will basically echo out the content of the post. However, since we're on the main page, it'll have a read more link. And you can, and the f only argument in this is what you want to say. So you can say read more, read the rest of this entry. And that's in a div class called entry, um, which is, of course, up to you. Uh, that's all the time we have for, that's all we have time for in this video. But in the next video, I'll show you the rest that we have on this homepage regarding PHP functions.